What if I told you that you could get approved for a car that always comes with a $10,000 credit limit? You told me that $10,000 was your ideal limit, so I found the five best credit cards that are absolutely guaranteed to give you at least $10,000 of a starting limit. Yeah, I know, it's a lot. These cards come with an openly stated minimum starting limit of $10,000 because they are a part of an exceedingly rare Visa Infinite program. There's only a handful of cards that hold that title, and many of them aren't even accessible to the public. So I made sure to only include the cards that can be freely applied for today. Visa, which is the payment network, offers a list of its own additional benefits that each bank can choose from to offer their customers. The credit card issuer will pick from the list of Visa benefits and then add to and modify them to offer a more competitive package to its cardholders. All of these cards can be fairly hard to get, especially if you're new to the credit card game. But I actually have one of the cards on this list and a lot of people consider it to be the best premium travel card out right now. And and more on that later. First up is the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite Card. I found one person who started with a limit of $11,000 and another started with a limit of $20,000. To get approved, you'll need above a 700 FICO score and a thick, healthy credit file. To understand what that means, let's take a look at what the Experian Credit Agency says about thin credit files. Experian says a thin credit file generally refers to a credit history with fewer than five credit accounts, basically meaning you'll need considerably more than five to fatten up that file. Also, the FICO scoring company itself says their highest achievers have an average of six bank issued credit cards. So you can get approved for this card via an invite from within the Bank of America mobile app or go online and apply on the website. They will hard pull your Experian FICO score. Most likely having a previous history with Bank of America will dramatically increase your odds of approval. When you sign up, you'll receive 50,000 bonus points after you spend $3,000 on purchases in the first 90 days of account opening. These points have a fixed value of one cent per point each, meaning that this bonus is worth $500. The card earns two points per dollar on travel and dining purchases and 1.5 points per dollar on all other purchases. If you become a preferred rewards member, you can potentially earn 25 to even 75% more points on every purchase. So this means you could earn up to 3.5 points on travel and dining purchases and up to 2.6 points on all other purchases for everyday dollar spend. Here's the thing. There are are several tiers to the preferred rewards program to become a gold member you need over twenty thousand dollars of deposits in an eligible account and over one hundred thousand dollars deposited to hit the platinum honor level and earn that 75 percent bonus you also get a 20 percent savings on airfare for any class when paying with points through the bank of america travel center this card gives you up to three hundred dollars annually in airfare incidental statement credits this includes purchases such as seat upgrades baggage fees and airline lounge fees but not air Fear. Up to $150 annually in statement credits for lifestyle conveniences, which include streaming services, food delivery, fitness subscriptions, and ride hailing services. Up to $100 in statement credits for global entry or TSA pre-check application fees once every four years. But always remember, global entry includes TSA pre-check, so that's the one you always want to sign up for. You get access to the Visa Infinite Luxury Hotel Collection that gives you late checkouts, free breakfast daily for two, and automatic upgrades. You get airport lounge access with priority pass select membership and you get visa car rental benefits with status upgrades for avis hertz and national and silver car and the annual fee is 500 for this card to increase your limit on the card you'll want to wait until you see this request a credit line increase button on your account i noticed that there is strong language suggesting that using this method will trigger a hard credit pull so you'll want to be strategic about when you manually request an increase when they ask for what limit you want i suggest adding between five to ten thousand dollars to your current limit, Bank of America will counter offer with the limit that they're comfortable with giving you. I've seen reports of other cardholders being denied initially and then calling customer service to plead their case and finally get approved for the increase. That's really good to hear because I found reconsideration line stories like this to be very rare across the credit card industry. If you're fortunate enough to get the increase, then you'll need to wait at least 91 days until you're eligible for another one. Next up is the Chase Unlimited Club Infinite Card. You can easily start with a limit of $20,000 to even $30,000 in some cases. To get approved, you'll need to be below Chase's 524 rule. That rule means you can have no more than four open credit card accounts within a 24 month period. Chase will pull your Experian FICO score. And here's a pro tip. You can actually get pre-approved from within the United app. Doing this should add an extra layer of confidence before you apply. With this card, you earn 80,000 bonus miles after you spend $5,000 within the first three months. You earn four 
miles per dollar spent on United purchases, including tickets, economy plus, and in-flight food. You earn two miles per dollar spent on all travel purchases and then one mile per dollar spent elsewhere. You also get United Club Lounge access. You get free first and second check bags for you and a companion, priority check-in, and you get up to $100 towards global entry, TSA pre-check, our Nexus fee credit, and 25% back on United in-flight drink purchases. You get additional points with their Mileage Plus program. You get DoorDash's premium service DoorDash Pass for one year, IHG Rewards Platinum Elite status, and access to the luxury hotel and resort collection, and the annual fee is $525. To increase your limit on this card, you need to show high usage. My rule of thumb is at least 30% of the total credit limit for three to four consecutive months to trigger an automatic increase. You can also reallocate credit limits and move a portion of another Chase card's limit to this one. Chase is well known for allowing customers to do this. Next is the US Bank Altitude Reserve card. Again, this is a Visa Infinite card, so you'll always start at or above $10,000, but I've seen people with limits of $50,000 to even $100,000 on this card, and that's truly insane. To get approved, US Bank will pull your Experian or TransUnion FICO score. It definitely helps quite a bit to have an existing relationship first before you go for this premium card. Some people reported that they initially received a seven to 10 day message after applying. They waited and finally got approved with the minimum $10,000 limit, so they just squeaked by. With this card, you earn 50,000 points after spending 4,500 in the first 90 days of account opening. You earn 5X points on prepaid hotels and car rentals booked directly in the Altitude Rewards portal. You earn 3X points for every dollar on eligible travel purchases in mobile wallet spend, and you earn 1X points per dollar spent on all other purchases. The main perk of this card is an easy to use $325 travel and dining credit to help offset the $400 annual fee. You can use this card to cover various travel expenses, including airfare, hotels, and rental cars, plus dining expenses like eating out at restaurants, takeout, and food delivery. And as expected, you're getting airport lounge access, the luxury hotel and resort collection, TSA pre-check, our global entry credits, and the annual fee is $400 again. To increase your limit, other cardholders are saying that you can use the mobile app to request an increase, and it will only trigger a soft credit pull. You'll most likely have to wait six months before you're eligible and putting heavy usage on the card should improve your odds of success. I have a US Bank Cash Plus card and earlier this year, I started with a $500 limit. I know that's shocking, right? And after six months of using 50% of that credit limit monthly, I requested an increase and the limit jumped up to $7,500. US Bank is known for being more conservative, so increasing your limits with them may require some extra time and effort. And if you're getting value from this, please hit the like button and to learn more about premium travel cards like this, I'll leave links down below. Next is the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. I've seen limits starting just above $10,000 to close to $30,000. One person was even able to grow their limit to $80,000. To get approved, just like with the Chase United Club card, you need to be below Chase's infamous 524 rule. Chase will be pulling from your Experian FICO score. If you currently have a Chase Freedom or Sapphire Preferred card, then you can call customer service to upgrade this card. You can also log into your Chase account and check the Just For You offer page to see if you've been targeted for the reserve card. With the Sapphire Reserve card, you earn 80,000 bonus points after you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening. You get a $300 annual travel credit as reimbursement for travel purchases charged to your card each account anniversary year. You get 5X total points on flights and 10X total points on hotels and rental cars when you purchase through the Chase Travel Portal. You earn 3X points on all other travel and dining and one point per dollar on all other purchases. You get 50% more value when you redeem your points for travel through Chase's ultimate rewards. You also get airport lounge access with priority pass and up to a $100 application fee credit for global entry and TSA pre-check. Plus you get 10X points on lift rides and free dash pass and Instacart plus service for a limited time. Also, just like with the other cards, you get the luxury hotel collection. And with this card, the annual fee is $550. To increase your limit with the reserve card, you'll need to increase your spending and you'll need to use this as your go-to top of wallet card. With Chase, automatic increases are soft pulls and manual increases are hard pulls. Also, you should know Chase may be looking to make increases a little easier with their cards. So for some people, an option to increase limits is showing up under the account services tab on their account homepage. There's still no word on whether the link is active yet or whether it will trigger a hard pull or not, but that's something to keep an eye out for. And next is the card that I actually own, and that's the Capital One Venture X card. By many accounts, it's the most competitive premium travel card 
on the market. But before we get into rewards, check out some of the starting limits others have received. I've seen many reports of others starting from $20,000 to even $30,000 limits. Personally, I product changed from the Quicksilver card into this one a few months ago, and I never looked back. I even grew my limit by $3,000 in the past few months on this account. To get approved, Capital One will pull all three FICO scores. One of the redeeming qualities of getting approved for Capital One cards is that anyone can check their pre-approval status, which is very helpful. Also, you can do what I did and check the product change landing page to see if you're eligible for an upgrade from an existing Capital One card. I'll leave a link down below to my website where you can access that link. So with the Venture X card, you earn 75,000 bonus miles when you spend $4,000 on purchases in the first three months from account opening, and you receive up to $300 back annually as a statement credit for booking through Capital One's travel portal. You get 10,000 bonus miles every year starting on your first anniversary, and you earn unlimited 10x miles on hotels and rental cars booked through Capital One's travel portal, and 5x miles on flights booked through Capital One, and you earn unlimited 2x miles on all other purchases, which makes this a really good all-around card. And for a limited time, you get 10x miles on tour purchases, which I'm really excited about because that's my primary way of renting cars these days. So just think of it like the Airbnb for cars, and they have such a huge selection of cars with lower prices most of the time. Also, you get unlimited complimentary access for you and two guests to 1,400 plus lounges, including Capital One lounges, with two more just announced for New York and DC. That makes five locations in total. You can even add four authorized users who can enjoy the same lounge benefits. You receive up to a $100 credit for a global entry or TSA pre-check, and you get $800 of cell phone protection when you pay your entire cell phone bill with this card. A lot of people haven't been talking about that. You also get access to the newly announced Premier Hotel Collection, and the annual fee is $395. Capital One is well known for bucketing people into narrow credit limit categories that prevent them from raising their limits up too high. I covered that in detail in this video, so that creates a huge disparity between cardholders with low limits and cardholders with high limits. But rest assured, if you get approved for the VentureX card, then you're not bucketed. These starting limits are just too high, and this is their flagship card. So to grow your limit even further, you can look at doing a few things. First and foremost, you have to increase spending. Again, the rule of thumb is using at least 30% of your available limit for three to four consecutive months. The more, the better. Next, you'll want to request for increases on a monthly basis after your billing statement closes, because Capital One will only soft pull your credit. After that, you can try transferring a balance from another car to your VentureX card. This ultimately increases the spend on your account and shows even more positive indicators to Capital One that you need a higher limit. Also, product changes can be effective in becoming qualified for an increase. I recently switched from a Quicksilver car to a VentureX car, and I've been able to increase my limit from $16,000 to $17,000 in July and then to $18,000 in October. That's two increases within a 60-day period with almost no spending I might add. The problem with these cards is they can be so inaccessible for many people who don't have the best credit scores or lengthy credit files. That's why I made a list of the four rare cards that will pre-approve you and show you your credit limit before you even sign up. Some of my audience members are getting approved for $20,000 to even $30,000 limits with these cards. So you really need to check this video out next. Thank you for watching and you have a good one.